Constipation is an unfortunate yet common occurrence in snakes. This is especially true if they are fed thawed frozen meals. Because frozen foods contain less water compared to naturally fresh meals, the result is often dehydration, which can manifest itself as hardened feces. Overfeeding and low temperature beyond proper levels within your snake's enclosure can also lead to constipation. This health issue can also create what is known as impaction. This occurs when bowels become obstructed due to a lack of proper digestion. Lethargy, loss of appetite, as well as the obvious inability to pass eliminations are the primary symptoms. In this video, we will detail the complexity of a snake's digestive system, mainly why it takes a snake so long to have a bowel movement. Additionally, we will discuss the root causes of constipation, the core symptoms, treatment measures, and what you can do to potentially prevent this problem from occurring in the future. The reason why constipation can be so difficult to notice, especially for first-time snake owners, is because certain snakes can go weeks and months without eliminating. While rat snakes, for example, typically produce within 48 hours, other snakes such as tree pythons and bush vipers can take a full week to defecate. Now comes the tricky part. Large-bodied snakes, such as certain types of boas and pythons, may not produce for months. Unlike common pets such as dogs and cats, the idea of not eliminating for a full week or a full month is foreign and likely scary to think about as an owner. However, for some snakes, this is actually a sign of good health. No problems at all. These facts alone serve to make it more difficult for an outsider to know if a snake is truly constipated or just fine. It's rather interesting and complex. One of the reasons why snakes take so long to defecate, just in general, is because they allow their digestive systems to atrophy between meals, between standard feedings. Because a snake will only eat three or four times per month, they are forced to seemingly repress their organs and proteins in order to save energy. Their organs shrink. When they finally eat, their organs return to normal size. Interesting, huh? Research states that each time a python eats, its digestive tract, heart, lungs, liver, and pancreas grows 50 to 100 percent in size over the course of 72 hours. Snakes essentially take a time out. Think of it as a car stopping at a traffic light. The vehicle is still on, still running, but it's stationary and saving fuel. The more infrequent a snake eats, the lower metabolic rate it will have in addition to a decreased rate of nutrition absorption. This, logically speaking, is why a snake will only need to defecate every so often. If your snake is only eliminating 40 or 50 times per year or less, it can be a bit difficult to detect when your pet is suffering from constipation. If you are informed about the particular snake you own, you should also be familiar with its bowel movements. Whether through reading up on the species or at least one year of full ownership, you likely know when things are normal. This knowledge can be invaluable when it comes to your snake's health. This is especially true when it comes to this specific topic. Constipation is painful. It can make snakes very uncomfortable. If feces become trapped or lodged in the body, infection and organ failure can occur. Finding the cause is paramount, as cause can equal resolution. Always take your snake to the vet if you suspect there's a problem. The most common reasons for constipation can include number 1. Dehydration. This core reason is not too much unlike the primary reason that often befalls cats, dogs, and even people. Without proper hydration, it can be difficult to pass normally. The regular feeding of frozen or thawed meals that contain less water can cause a problem. Because reptiles get most of their water from food, meals that are dry in this regard can set your snake back immensely in terms of hydration needs. This can cause their feces to become drier and harder than normal. Ultimately, this is what makes them difficult to pass. 
hardened stool or fecal stones can obstruct the path of elimination in a snake's body. This can lead to some rather serious health issues if not treated in a timely fashion. Number two, low temperature and humidity. If the environment in your snake's enclosure is inadequate, your snake can't suffer. Constipation is just one of several potential issues that can develop. When enclosure temperatures and humidities are low, internal temperatures will rise as a means of conservation. This rise can dehydrate feces, thus leading to hardening. This ultimately causes constipation. This is another reason why temperature and humidity monitoring devices are so important. Number three, impaction due to substrate consumption. Although a bit rare, it is possible for your snake to become impacted following the ingestion of substrate. If your snake's bedding is comprised of sand, gravel, or aspen shavings, your snake could eat it. The inability to digest foreign material can lead to a serious problem and an inability to defecate properly. Number four, overfeeding. The practice of overfeeding can result in obesity and essentially lock up the colon in many respects. Because snakes lack two openings for eliminations, while overfeeding can cause constipation, the water intake from food will still be absorbed. You sort of get where this is going, unfortunately. Because most snakes will continue to eat even though they're constipated, unless extreme pain has set in, the result is sickness, quite severe in some cases. Critical illness requires immediate care from a vet. As we've noted, if you've owned your snake for a respectable amount of time, you're likely familiar with its bowel habits and general routine. However, if you've only had your snake for a very short time, especially if this is the first time you've ever owned a snake, Knowing the symptoms of constipation is critical, not only for your pet, but for your own course of action. The steps you take can ultimately determine your snake's fate. While that likely sounds a bit harsh and perhaps even overwhelming, arming yourself with knowledge is very important. The following symptoms are often the most common signs of constipation. Lack of bowel movement that has gone far beyond your pet's normal habits and routine. Behavioral changes. This is often due to discomfort and pain caused by impaction and constipation. Lethargy. Lack of appetite. This is a general refusal to eat when a standard mealtime window arrives. Irritability during handling. This is a symptom to really be mindful of, especially if your snake is typically calm. And finally, blue patches or spots on the abdomen. Depending on your snake's color pattern, this could be difficult to see. Please take your pet to the vet if you suspect constipation is the root cause of your snake's symptoms. Especially if these signs are in clusters, multiple symptoms should be addressed with urgency. Severe constipation can prove fatal in some cases without immediate care. If you suspect that your snake is suffering from constipation, you can attempt to bathe your reptile in a warm water bath. Allow your snake to soak for 10 to 15 minutes. The warm water can serve to soften hardened feces and potentially reduce impaction. This will clear some of the blocked exit and allow your snake to eliminate properly. A warm bath can also cause your snake to relax and ease pain. This can aid in proper bowel movement. You can also gently massage your snake while it's soaking. This can serve as an additional positive measure of relaxation while the water encourages the softening of feces. Checking your snake's bedding can also serve as treatment because certain substrates can act to promote drier air, change the bedding. Substrates that hold humidity can serve to create a warmer environment. This can aid in helping your snake to eliminate. It serves the same function as that of a warm bath. Please avoid attempting to administer an enema or laxative yourself without seeking professional advice or approval. This act can be fatal if performed incorrectly. If you feel that aid of this nature is needed, seek professional care for your pet as soon as possible. There are only limited treatment methods that can be attempted at home. 
due to the severity of the issue. If you are indeed certain that constipation is the reason for your snake's condition, you should avoid all food until signs of improvement have been shown. While every case is different due to the extent of the constipation, most snakes that are severely impacted and in pain will refuse food even when offered. The last thing you want to do is make matters worse. If you have scheduled an appointment with your vet, it's wise to wait for a professional verdict before offering a meal to your snake. Although unfortunate, many issues with constipation stem from a lack of responsible ownership. While certainly not intentional, even the most minor forms of neglect regarding proper care of a snake's environment can lead to this trying ailment. Several ways to prevent your snake from falling victim to constipation include temperature and humidity regulation. Low temperatures and humidity within a snake's enclosure are often a cause of constipation. The objective should always be to meet both of your snake's temperature and humidity requirements. The environment must be suitable based on species. Include more water. This includes existing water as well as your snake's meal prep. Fresh water to drink and soak in is vital. Water can also increase humidity levels within the enclosure, thus preventing constipation due to a low humidity environment. Prevent a state of impaction. Impaction can trigger constipation. As noted earlier, snakes can consume parts of their bedding depending on what is being used. Try artificial turf, carpeting, or newspaper. This will eliminate the danger, especially if you have a burrowing snake. The next solution is to remove decor. While seemingly a trivial matter, remove unwanted and unneeded decor. Allowing your snake to have as much room as possible is key. If your snake is a bit too large for its enclosure, constipation can set in. All your snake really needs is plenty of open space coupled with a few branches, hides, and some small plants. The final form of prevention is to eliminate overfeeding. Regarded as a common cause of constipation, as we have noted, feeding your snake accordingly is vital. Not only can overfeeding lead to constipation, it can also cause obesity, thus leading to a series of other health concerns. If you're unsure how often your snake needs to be fed, please talk to an expert in the field or speak directly to your vet. And on that note, that'll conclude things for this video. We hope we were able to provide you with informative information that you can use in a positive way. If you enjoyed this content, please be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Whether you're currently viewing this material on site at snakesforpets.com or you're watching directly from the YouTube platform, Please subscribe. We produce new content on a regular basis, so join us and stay up to date. Question time. Have you ever dealt with a constipated snake? If so, what steps did you take to resolve the issue? Did your pet require professional care or were you able to remedy the situation through several at-home practices? Please let me know in the comment section below. I'm sure that sharing your experience will prove quite helpful, especially to those who have recently purchased a snake for the first time. Until we meet again, we thank you so much for watching. We wish you all the best, and we hope you have a wonderful day.